So let's get straight into it. People told me who I was. She hates people. Watch out for her. She's mean. And I fed into it. I ate it up with a fork, a knife, a spoon, whatever other cutlery, with my hands, everything. I believed it. I fed into it. Now, I'm not placing blame or shame on anyone because it's my own responsibility what I choose to accept, believe, and project. However, when you know better, you do better. No one explained to me that I was a hypersensitive being. And that was why I couldn't tolerate being around so many people for so long. It would truly just stress me out. I could pick up everything. The dishonesty, the hurt, the fear, the anguish, the happiness, the resiliency, the strength, the joy. There was no difference, but it all came in at once. And if someone was going through a traumatic time in their life, and especially if they were trying to hide it, I picked it up like it was me. So I became so confused, right? And I thought I did hate everyone for a time just because I couldn't stand or I couldn't, I couldn't handle being around them because their hurt was my hurt and I didn't know the difference. So the universe forced me into seclusion so that I could figure it out. It's taken a very long time to get here, but I'm here now and I'm starting to understand my assignment. I'm here to remind you of your divinity and your birthright to happiness, even before your birth, your right to happiness, your right to escape the hell loop that you've been pushed into and that you've been made to feel that you deserve to be. That, that anger, that resentment, that angst, that all of that, that keeps you trapped in a place feeling like a victim, that confusion when it comes to mistaking strength with hurt. There's so much to it, but we're here together. I'm healing as I heal. I'm not perfect. No one is, but we can do this and we can change the world by changing ourselves. And it starts with you.